got this. Slide it a little bit, tweak it. Kind of uh, what we're trying to do is measure for the length because I'm going to cut. Oops. I'm going to go ahead and let me zoom this. Get this roughly to the proper length. I always cut a little bit longer down here because we can always trim the end off of the point um, when all said and done. Uh, it's always easier to trim off than it is. You can't add back on, so uh, that's that's the issue. So go ahead and move this back. There we go. All right. Uh, let me kind of look. Eyeball it. And uh, it's probably kind of hard to see me eyeball it, but put your head down and look to see whether these <laughs> point and the um, wing rail and the closure rail are straight. They're looking pretty straight. So, what I'm going to do, I can't really hold it up to the camera because uh, the rail uh, gauges will fall off, so it's kind of hard to see, but I think you'll. Uh, get an idea of what I mean. And again, like this, uh, like this curved rail here, this curved stock rail. Uh, once we initially solder this stuff, this uh, closure rail, and point down, um, I'm only going to do it in a couple of spots because we may want to do some adjustments based on um, our findings from our NMRA standards gauge. So you don't want to completely commit yourself to tacking this down. Um, all up and down the rail. Okay, that's looking that's looking good. Okay, now I'm gonna do is just take take a look at where my notch is. I notch the rail here, right here, right there. I'm just gonna score the top of this rail lightly. Just score it. Okay. I'll go ahead and trim this down. There. Okay, a little closer. We're getting there. All right. Um, now, here's what I'm going to be doing to um, file the point. Uh, so, essentially, this is well, this is the rail. Uh, that's the rail base. This is the rail head. And kind of exaggerating what I'm doing here, but uh, I'm going to start back about. Uh, Oh, I'd say about uh, two, two and a half inches from the tip of the point. And start filing the base and part of the rail head off. So, uh, just like that. Okay, this is all, that's all going to go away. The stuff I'm marking off here and give you a better idea of uh, what I'm doing, let me pull out a rail cross section and essentially what I'm doing is taking this part and this part off. Now I want to leave this support section, that's the head, that's the base, I know there's a technical term for that but uh, at the moment it escapes me. <coughs> But uh, I'm going to be taking, uh, yeah, yeah, the base and the head, and also a little bit of this support area there. Not too much though, because uh, at the at the end of your point, you want to have some support, obviously, between uh, what's left of the head and what's left of the base. Okay, so this is what I'm taking off on the side of the point, essentially filing it flat. That's going to go up against uh, the stock rail. Now, um, uh, what I'm going to do to the other side of the rail is that I'm just going to just going to take the top of the rail off. You don't want to file the base off here on the opposite side because this part here's your PC tie, the throw bar. This is going to get soldered to your throw bar. And so you need to have something on here to solder it up. If you take this off there, your point's going to break three. Um, so that's why I want to leave the base over on this side. 
I take the rail, let it off, and then I kind of do a little more filing, kind of taper it so you actually get a nice good point up top here. Uh, so uh, that's uh, what I'm going to be doing um, to get the point for the rail.